I've prepared a scene to show you one cool effect using the frame buffer object. So I'm drawing the monkey head and a black cube. So everything is the same. So I'm generating this cube texture. And in the GL text image 2D, I'm, the last parameter is just none. And this cube texture will be used to texture the custom frame buffer. So, first of all, I'm the cube position I'm going to set to 0, 0, 0 and the monkey position too. 0, 0, 0, so now they are on top of each other. So let's bind the frame buffer object, then unbind it. Mm -hmm. Let's set the clear color for the frame buffer object, uncomment the uh, clear clearing the color buffer bit and the dub buffer bit. So now the cube is textured with the monkey head. I'm going to bring the view a little bit closer. So negative two. So now the monkey head is on the cube as a texture. And let me let me show you the GL we need to set the GL viewport to Windows width and Windows height when we draw to the custom frame buffer. And then set to new width and new height. And these two variables are here. Their defol default value is 1280 by 720. And every time when I'm resizing the window, uh, this window underscore resize function gets called by the by G here by the GLF set window size callback and here the new width and the new height gets the width and the height from here so let me see mm -hmm. let let, let me move the monkey model a little bit a little bit back let's say minus one mm -hmm. so And just to show you why do we need to set the GL viewport here in the custom frame buffer and here in the default frame buffer too. So now I'm going to uncomment those to show you what happens. Now it's okay, but when I enlarge the window to full screen, the half of the monkey head is not visible and when I make the window a little bit smaller as you see uh, the monkey just jumps to one of the corner to the lower here in the lower left corner here in the upper right so that's why we need to set the GL viewport here and here. 
So now I can resize the window without any problems. One more thing I wanted to do is draw the monkey uh, as a wireframe. So with the GL polygon mode and G, uh, polygon mode and GL front and back GL front and back uh, front underscore and back and GL line so now we have just the cube so here when we draw the cube I'm going to copy this GL polygon mode function and set the GL line to GL fill yes so now the cube is drawn uh, with the fill mode and the monkey head is drawn with the GL line mode as a wire frame and I think it looks very good so probably in the next week I won't upload any videos because I will be too busy but the week after the next week I'm going to continue so until then thanks for watching and have a nice day